Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Christy here doing the weekly reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for the week of November 21st through to November 28th. With Sagittarius as a new moon um, this weekend, when I do the readings, I'm going to theme this week's readings for you around higher learning and awareness. Now, of course, these are always general readings for your sign. Whatever is most prominent in your life, I encourage you to take the messages and apply them to, and I hope you find them helpful in healing. Uh, but yeah, for the past several weeks, I've been reading um, in a themed sense because of um, the sign that the moon is moving through, and I've been finding that helpful in my both my um, professional readings here and my personal readings. So. Let's stick with that. Tell me what you think of that, if it works for you, or if you'd like to see something different. So again, with Sagittarian, Sagittarius in the moon over the next three days, we are going to be theming readings around higher learning and awareness. So what does Cancer need to know about higher learning and awareness this week? Anyone who's not interested in the long shuffling, feel free to scroll ahead at the bottom of the screen there. You should be able to see when all the cards are on the table. I know long shuffling isn't for everyone, so you can always do that. And for those of you who like it, enjoy some more shuffling. <laughs> I also want to give a quick shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for your vote of confidence in me and for encouraging me to keep doing this work. I really appreciate you being here. We're just looking for one more jumper. Oh, I thought that was gonna, okay. Wow, let's keep going here. Whoa, Cancer. Higher learning and awareness. Well, my dear, I'm going to suggest right off the bat that whatever you feel or feel that you know already is by and large accurate. Um, I would set about getting proof so that you can put your mind at ease in terms of, is this my imagination, if that's a question for you, uh, versus is this really real? If you're having any kind of contemplation regarding that those questions with you uh, in a general sense whatever is most prominent in your life this week I'm gonna suggest that it's not your imagination is what we're looking at here uh, just because we have an incredibly powerful card here uh, being the owl and deception um, here as a general energy and of course let's look at what is in the center for you absolutely delighted to see such <coughs> pardon me um, very, very strong, powerful cards for you this week. Um, and especially with the theme being higher learning and awareness, I really feel whatever you, you feel that you're tapped into, that is, um, as I mentioned, you know, this sense of, gee, is it my imagination? Is this where I really should be? Is this what's really going on? You know, perhaps any type of internal conflict with regard to your feelings or emotions or intuition, I'm going to suggest that it's absolutely accurate. It's not just all in your head, so to speak. But as I mentioned just a moment ago, if you feel like you would be, um, if you feel like you would be emboldened by looking into something, then feel free to do that. You don't just have to take my word for it. If you feel like, you know what, I'm just gonna, sure, I think I'm ready about this but I'm gonna look into it, absolutely do that, okay? You, you know, trust that due diligence is a natural um, and, and normal and wise indicator of knowing that you're on the right track, but it's, you, I, you might surprise yourself in that regard as well, that you know, even if you look into something that you thought might have been your imagination or, you know, 
your intuition, you couldn't really prove it, you didn't know how to, you, you might find by and large here that it was true and that you can trust your intuition. So we do have Buffalo, we have prayer and abundance. This is you this week. What a beautiful card. It's not often that I get this card, I'll be honest, like for any reading for anyone. So a real beautiful, spiritually healthy um, uh, and aware card here. So really beautiful to see prayer and abundance as your central position card cancer. Here with beaver is the influence to your current position. Of course, this is builder. So why are you prayerful and, and abundant? Did it just land in your lap and you didn't do anything about it? Uh, absolutely not. You're prayerful and abundant because you have been building so diligently. You have been working your butt off on whatever is prominent in your life this week, whatever this theme is touching on for you, Cancer, I'm going to suggest very fairly and clearly here, you have been working diligently. You have been mindful, you've been fair, you've got a plan, and uh, it's taking shape. And this is how it feels. It feels beautiful. It feels like you're really getting somewhere. And then of course, with frog as your probable outcome, this is cleansing. This is a permanent state for you. This is how you get to the next level is that you allow yourself to feel, you allow yourself to fail, you allow yourself to grow. So you constantly turn into this better version of yourself, but because you have a plan, because you have um, a concept, because you have um, goals, right? To put it simply, um, this cleansing, this shedding, this becoming more and more comfortable in your own skin is making you, how do you say, more powerful, I guess? Um, more potent, okay? I'll put it, uh, let's say more potent. Um, power can have not so great connotations. Um, and it can be, uh, Power can be, you know, misconstrued, even personally uh, or certainly externally. But a potency is nice, right? It makes you feel like you're po um, there's a there's a self awareness there, and there's um, a, um, like a self esteem there. So you're really just building on your own sense of self awareness. And of course, as I mentioned at the start, we can't not talk about this guy. Owl, incredibly important. We have deception. Now it's kind of a misnomer that he's named. Uh, after deception, um, but here's the caveat, and here's what I, this is what I was drawing on when I first spoke about, look, if you feel on any level that, you know, your intuition or your uh, Im even imagination is off somehow this week, or you have to second guess yourself, sure, look into it, absolutely, but I, 10 to 1, you're going to find you were right, um, but you're going to feel as though it's deceptive, you're going to feel as though there was something in the way, um, it's probably just old elements of um, an older life, an older version of yourself, um, old narratives you used to tell yourself. You could be speaking to someone from your older life, uh, from someone you used to know who doesn't understand what you know now and they don't, you know, they, they, um, they're going to brush this off even though this is knowledge for you, okay, this awareness, this understanding this knowing, this appreciation for something deeper and possibly darker, um, then, like I said, you, uh, then you can absolutely say, oh no, here's like all this evidence. You, you're probably going to have to look for this to corroborate what you already feel is happening here. But like I said, you'll probably find it because this is a knowing. Um, this is also incredibly sensually powerful as well. Um, this is highly associated with Scorpio, Scorpionic energy. So we're looking at issues of sex and death here as well. And then we have just the great um, barn owl here, which is an element of wisdom. So this is what we're looking at with knowledge. Now, I kind of went a little bit overboard in explaining the general essence of the reading. So let's just look at these individually briefly, um, because I think that the general essence is actually more important between uh, as opposed to individual cards right now for you, because you, I mean, we're looking seriously frog, owl and buffalo. I just don't see these together ever. And it's a huge deal. Um, these are incredibly potent cards, all right? First of all, prayer and abundance, absolutely. So this represents you. This is where you know that you're sitting in your truth. We're looking at terms prayer, okay? Spiritual awareness, spiritual um, acuity, 
And we're looking at abundance, abundance of that acuity, abundance of that relationship with that world, with the spirit world, okay? With something even ancient, something, again, you don't even necessarily have the language for. I mean, this is deep, okay? I'm not trying to play this into being something dramatic, but whatever's going on here, this prayer in abundance, this, this spirituality, this building on something, this cleansing is deep, right? Here with beaver, this is an influence to your current position. This is the builder. This is the, um, <clears throat> the story of how you got to prayer and abundance. Uh, it didn't fall in your lap. Like I said at the very start, this is hard work. This took a lot of energy. You have a plan. You probably have at least one major goal and you're not sitting on it wishing it would just happen for you. This is hard work for you, Cancer, and you're taking yourself and you're taking your work very seriously. So it's, it's a beautiful position to be in, right? When you get to live in your in your prayer and abundance. Here with frog, as I mentioned, this is cleansing. This is just, this is a spirit letting go. This is a letting go of preconceptions. Um, who you think you are, who, where you belong, what people think of you, um, even things such as right and wrong right now, because this is so powerful that you're able to see through that. Things that you were told were right. And this happens all the time. It doesn't matter what it's about. Um, what's, what's a major one? You know, fracking doesn't cause any environmental harm. Yeah, it does, right? <laughs> like evidently we can prove this. Um, but there's still going to be some pe people in the face of the evidence who can't accept that. But I'm going to suggest, and this is just an example, and I want you to apply this to other areas of your life. The bottom line is you knew or you would have known. Yeah, you know what? I feel intuitively or there's something about this practice, even without the evidence, until you go looking for it and then it'll back it up, that you knew yeah, you know what? Fracking is bad. <laughs> Fracking does cause problems. I don't know how, I don't know why, I just feel it, I just know it. That's what I'm talking about here. So just apply that sort of sensibility or that theme to other areas of your life, if you will. Let's move on to some qualifiers. <laughs> I'm actually not surprised to see this at all. All that glitters isn't gold. Absolutely. You're struggling through how you're going to make um, what you're doing and what you're involved in a business for yourself. You're almost saying to yourself, you know what, can I be spiritual and make money? 100%, okay, 100%. Can I be spiritual and make money? I'm gonna say yes, absolutely. Do you have to be religious? No. If you're religious and you're like, can I be religious and make money? I would look more at the spirit side of things um, because religion is in the business of making money. So if it's about religion, just maybe go a little deeper. Look at spirituality, not religion. Um, but ultimately, we're looking at themes of what are you getting and what are you giving? Is it worth it, right? We're looking at value. We're looking at worth. We're looking at what mask we wear in public and what who we are when we take that mask off. But I mean, again, you're getting, I think you're getting more and more comfortable with that just because I see you. Look at how Look at how deep this is. Look at how um, powerful, potent, <laughs> as it were, these themes are for you. How you're sitting in your knowledge, in your truth. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say that all, all that glitters um, is gold right now for you. I would, I would actually say that for you right now. All that glitters is gold for you right now. Follow the yellow brick roll road for yourself right now. It will lead you to where you need to go. And if there's someone behind that curtain and you have to figure it out who it is because you deeply feel on some level that's where you're being led and that's what you're going to discover, do it, okay? You're in your, you're in your deepest self. You have a yearning for this and you can do this. You're strong enough to do this, okay? And it's part of what you're building. So keep going. Here with trust, of course, this is associated with the judgment card. This is really just specifically having good judgment. Trust yourself. And again, back to the very start, trust your judgment this week, uh, Cancer. Really uh, make it a habit of it. Trust your judgment, trust your intuition, trust your, trust your knowing. And uh, ultimately, be prayerful, be abundant, um, take time to remember the important things. And we all know that's life, breath, and family, okay? And family can be um, people that you love, whoever you make your family. So that is your reading for the week. If you have a second, comment below. If you're not subscribed, do that today. It's free to do that. And uh, leave a like if you like my videos. I really appreciate you doing that. That helps me out a lot. 
So until we meet in the next video, take excellent care of yourself, Cancer. Bye for now.